2018, we all went to see Gary Vaynerchuk, remember that? And he gave us a great roadmap, a great plan. We got to uh, shadow their entire team. I, I was inspired and fired up. I think you guys are inspired and fired up. I said, let's just start with doing one a week. I don't know where they're gonna go, but like the goal is just, can we get to that? Can we do it? What does it look like now? And how do we change it up every quarter? What we could do very easily is we can talk about why this product's great. We could start with, why is this, why does this matter to me? Right now, the perception is all in one. That's what people talk about. People talk about this all in one platform. And truly, it does not exist. It doesn't exist today. How could we shift the noise in the top from end to end all in one to what we think it really is? I think people are just like, well, we don't have this end to end. No one even can explain what end to end means. Like, what does that mean? I can have the perfect end to end solution, but the agent's still gotta use it. You still have adoption, that's the problem. And agents don't like change. I won't switch from an iPhone and I won't switch from using Uber because it's just, I'm comfortable with what I use. I can tell you right now, if I gave the broker and the agent said, here is the consumer portal, it's perfectly built, it has everything the consumer wants, we're all gonna have an opinion. Or they're gonna say, I wanna be able to turn on and off certain things. Or I need it to just happen. It's a big challenge to solve. I love this industry because I think it's one of the hardest industries to be in with the, 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 the customer, which our customers, the agent, have the age is what, 54, 55 years old. So they're very set in their ways. And who isn't? We all are, right? When I'm in this mindset, this space, and it's usually right after I work out in the morning, um, I go home and it's still dark, it's around 5.45 when I'm done working out, and it's quiet, and I can just look over and, and think about things as I look out in, in the windows through Sacramento. I did this voice note, and it was really a note to myself about just tasting, I wanna taste more. When you are the first explorer, you have to taste the berries, and you have to hope that they're not poisonous, and sometimes they will be. They always say the best ideas are in the grave because people never execute it. They had a great idea, but they failed to execute or they thought of it, but didn't do anything with it. And so my message to all of us working together is taste. I don't want to sit back when I'm 80 and live a life of regret. I want to live a life of an adventure. And I think about that because I guess for me, it's like oxygen is tasting. It allows me to breathe, it allows me to adapt, it allows me to, to learn, to grow, knowing that those berries may be poisonous, knowing that I'm going into new territory, white space, knowing that I may have it all wrong, but it's my oxygen. It allows for me to go into this space of knowing that I'm chipping away at something new. I'm, I'm, I'm activating my hunger, my brain, my curiosity, my awareness to taste. I think about how do we create pioneers at Skyslope? How do we pioneer the way? How do we push forward? There's no playbook for this. It's new territory, right? Challenge yourself, ask yourself, ask me, what have you tasted today? What have you tasted this week? What have you tasted this month? We all were put on earth to be the best version of ourselves. Without tasting, it's almost like not breathing. When you are a pioneer, you have to taste. My theme for 2020 is to taste. Taste more and taste often. Thank mm -hmm. you.